Hello investors, welcome back to your go-to place for dividend investing. We're going to be going over all of my uh, January dividend payouts from M1 Finance and Robinhood app. Now, my portfolio has an average of about 3% dividend and, you know, these are going to be paid out either monthly or quarterly from the companies. And I'll be showing you guys how you could be earning passive income just like this, you know, with uh, the drip and compounding interest. Now, obviously, if you guys are interested in investing with M1 Finance for fractional shares or Robinhood, uh, I'm going to leave a link in the description. If you sign up for M1 Finance, you will receive $20 when you sign up and deposit $100 into their account. And if you sign up for Robinhood, you will receive one free stock worth up to about $300. That is the maximum. So if you guys are interested in that, the links are in the description. And now uh, let's get into it. Now, guys, before we get into the video, don't forget to destroy that like button. I'm going to try to get over 50 likes. Last uh, month's video got about 51 likes. So try to get me some likes on this one. It helps the algorithm. Make sure you subscribe to the channel for future content. And leave me a comment below. Uh, in the comments below, leave a, a comment saying, what is your favorite dividend-paying stock? And let me know if there's any stock that I should be uh, adding to my portfolio. And that will be your chance to enter the giveaway for the Amazon gift card. So leave a comment below in, in order to be eligible to join. Right, guys, without further ado, let's get into the portfolio. So before we get into all the dividend payments, I'm going to be showing you guys the portfolio. So as you guys can see, I've obviously been adding to the portfolio. So right now, the M1 Finance portfolio is worth about $8,100. And these are all the pies that I have in my portfolio. These are all the stocks that I own, obviously. Um, I have stocks inside of the pies. Now, uh, on Robinhood, we have about $7,300 uh, portfolio, and um, that one's up about $700 in the past three months. And then right here, I'm going to go over this quick chart for you guys. So these are all my dividend payout months. So basically, this is where I keep all of my stocks that I own in the portfolio, and then I have which month they're going to pay me out in dividends. So obviously, for an example, we have uh, AT&T, ticker symbol T right there. It pays out a dividend of 5.3%. And it's going to pay me out a dividend in February, May, August, and November. So I've done this with all of my stocks. And uh, I have it in descending order from highest to lowest. Obviously, how much dividend they pay me out. Uh, here are my monthly paying dividends right there. And also, uh, we, we added one new stock to the portfolio this month. So I'm going to be showing you that right here. Ticker symbol SMH. It is an ETF. I'll show you guys that in the portfolio. It pays out a dividend of 1.54%. And it only pays out a dividend one time a year, and it's usually in uh, December or January. So I have that mark right there. But um, that is going to be in my bond and ETFs uh, section right here. And that is uh, ticker symbol SMH. So it's the Van Eek Vectors Semiconductor ETF. And um, this, this, you know, this is a very nice stock to own in the portfolio, I believe, in my opinion. Uh, let's view some of the details real quick. The performance on the five-year chart, really, really good. This follows, obviously, stocks like... Um, uh, AMD, you know, MU, all the um, technology things. So this is a very nice, it has um, expense, expense ratio of 0.35%, the dividend, like we said, 1.54%. Let's get into these dividends, guys. The first uh, stock to pay me out in January, uh, we're gonna be talking about Walmart. So Walmart is the first stock that paid me out in January. So Walmart, we own about 2.78 shares, average cost of 297, and the average share price is about $106 per share. Um, obviously, they paid me out $1.36, which is not bad at all. And if you view the details right here, um, it, it pays out a dividend of 1.85%. Not bad at all. PE ratio is pretty low at 23.3%. I like them to be about 25% or less. So this is another very positive thing for me with uh, Walmart. Next up, the next stock that paid me a dividend is going to be Pepsi, uh, ticker symbol PEP. So Pepsi paid me out $1.36 on January 7, 2020. If we view the details right here for Pepsi, Pepsi has a dividend of about 2.69%. PE ratio, once again, super low, about 16.3%, which is very, very nice. And as we can see here, Pepsi, um, I own 1.6 shares of Pepsi, average cost of $212 or $212 invested with an average price of $131.97. Currently, uh, Pepsi is trading at $142.02. So once again, not bad at all. I love Pepsi, long-term investment, just like Walmart, of course. Next up after that, we have ticker symbol O, which is Realty Income. So Realty Income paid me out $0.98 cents on January 15, 2020. If we look at the details here for this stock, uh, obviously this is my REITs, so my real estate investing. Um, it pays out a dividend of about 3.56%, which is very, very nice. Once again, um, it's kind of uh, trending back up to all-time highs. As we look at the one-year chart, we're, we're coming back up. Obviously, this was a great time to buy more into the portfolio. Uh, PE ratio about 60%. 
but something to know about, you know, REITs is obviously they have to pay about 90% of their income back, you know, the profits they have to pay in dividends. That's why the dividend is 3.56% as they have to return that money back into the, you know, into the investor. Next up, we have uh, store, ticker symbol STOR, store capital. So store capital paid me out $4.52 on January 15, 2020. Right here, if we look at the one year chart, obviously another great time to buy right here was about $36, $37. Uh, they pay out a dividend of 3.57%. 3 so very nice, almost like uh, the realty income. PE ratio about 31%. Same situation, they have to pay out about 90% of their profits out back in dividends. So this is a great stock in my portfolio that I believe in long term. Obviously, as you can see here, I own about 14.2 shares of uh, store capital. And, I, you know, the cost of that was about $500. Average share price, $35.05. Currently, it's trading at $39.25. So I'm making some good gains. And then the previous one I didn't show was uh, the realty income. I have about 4.9 shares at an average share price of $72.82. Currently, it's trading at $78.41. So both of these REITs in my portfolio, you know, realty income and store capital, very nice. I'm up about 11% on uh, ticker symbol O and about 16% on store capital. So I think both of these are very, very nice for me. And I, I should have probably added more to the portfolio, but I have a decent amount right now and I'm slowly going to be adding more and more. Next up in the portfolio, we have ticker symbol CMS or CMCSA, which is Comcast. Comcast paid me out $1.67 on January 29, 2020. If we take a look right here at Comcast, Comcast has a very low PE ratio. Once again, I love PE ratios that are below 30%, but especially below 20. This one is at 15.3. Their dividend yield that they pay out is about 2.13%. Not bad at all for Comcast. If we look here for Comcast, I own about 7.9 shares. Uh, my average share price is $42.45. Uh, currently, they're trading at $43.19. I believe Comcast just had earnings and, and it kind of took a little dip and that's why it's a little bit lower, but that's not bad at all. I mean, I have about 3.39% gain on them already. Next up after that, we have a ticker, ticker symbol SPHD, which is obviously an ETF. So this one paid me out $2 exactly on January 31st, 2020. Uh, as we all know, this is going to be the S&P 500 dividend, uh, high dividend, low volatility ETF. And if we look at this, uh, expense ratio is very low, about 0.3%. And then we have a dividend of about 4.28%. Very nice. This obviously follows the market of um, the high dividend, low volatility stocks in it. And um, it had a nice pullback right here. It went from about $44 high because obviously the market had a very, very red day on Friday. Um, before closing, we dropped about 500, 600 points, I believe. So Honestly, if I if I decide to buy some more, it would be a great time for me to add more to the portfolio as it's doing, you know, it's a great time to add more to the portfolio because it's not at all time highs and I can buy at a lower price and, you know, keep the trend going up. Now with SPHD, I own about 16.2 shares of it at an average share price of $42.44. Currently, it's trading at $42.10. So obviously, it's below my average uh, share price cost. So Right now, like I said, it would be a great time for me to add more. So if we continue to have some more red days in the upcoming week due to the virus that's going on in China, especially, and it's spreading to the rest of the world, uh, if the markets keep on having some fear, uh, maybe it'll be a good time for me to add even more to the portfolio and get an average, you know, lower average price that will help me out in the long term. Okay, so for M1 Finance, last but not least, obviously, don't forget, I still have the Robin Hood. So on here, we have JP Morgan Chase. They paid me out $2.55 on January 31st, 2020. Uh, JP Morgan Chase, very, very nice. In the past year, the stock has been doing amazing. It's, it was up about 40% just last year. Uh, expense ratio, once again, super low at about 12.4%. Uh, dividend yield is at about 2.72%, which is very nice. Like, once again, I love the dividends that are about 2%, especially. If we take a look at JP Morgan Chase right here, I currently own about 2.8 shares. Uh, average share price, $109.14. Currently trading at $132.36. This is a great stock for me. I, I honestly wish I had more in the portfolio as we're up about 73 bucks just on these 2.8 shares, 22.69% uh, up. Uh, JP Morgan Chase, very nice stronghold. All right, next up, we're gonna be taking a look at this Robinhood portfolio real quick. Uh, the first stock we're gonna be, obviously, well, this is actually my only dividend payment for the month. Uh, it's gonna be ticker symbol DIS, which is Disney. So guys, Disney is having earnings coming up, as we can see right here on February 4th, and I believe that's gonna push the stock to go up, hopefully, after they announce um, you know, the subscriptions and all that. Hopefully, uh, we're gonna have some good earnings and stocks will hopefully go up and we'll have some good uh, share prices. But uh, dividend, I got paid out on January 17th. On January 17th, I own about 20 shares of uh, Disney. And I got paid out about 0.88 cents per share. 
in total on January 17, 2020, they paid me $17.60. Now, Disney is a special kind of dividend because they pay out twice a year. So it's kind of every six months that they pay out. That's why it's so high of $20. So really, I'm receiving about $40 from, um, or a little bit less, probably like $35 from Disney yearly currently um, at the price that it's currently trading at. So that's not bad at all just for owning some shares of Disney in my portfolio, which is a stock that I believe in long term. So why wouldn't I hold it in the portfolio, you know? There's no reason for me not to. But um, yeah, let's add all this up and see how much it was the total for all the dividends that I got paid out. All right, guys. So here's my little spreadsheet that I made for my passive income. And I just added it in. The total comes out to be $32.04. So if we take a look right here at this uh, chart. So if we take a look at the chart real quick right here, uh, you know, obviously we have January 2020 right there. We got paid out $32.04. Um, you know, this is one of my top four or top three actually payouts, you know, that I've received so far. I'm going to continue adding this. As we can see, we had a very nice December, now very nice January. We hope to continue this trend into February, you know, March, April, May, and keep on continuing receiving more dividend incomes, you know, every month and just keep on adding to the portfolio. So I receive more and more instead of having these like low numbers with the $6, $9, $10, Hopefully we can trend up and have like $20 every month and just keep on earning more and more as we add more shares to the portfolio, which means more payouts are going to be coming. Now, if you guys did notice, there was a couple of stocks that were not, didn't pay me out this month, but they were supposed to. I believe uh, VNQ and LQD, I did not, I did not have, and they're uh, monthly paying dividends. Um, I'm assuming they're probably going to pay me out sometime early February so that, you know, they weren't um, into the numbers, but I'm assuming next month, you know, they'll pay me out towards the beginning of the month, uh, they were a little late probably, so I'm not gonna worry about that. But yeah, as you guys uh, saw, this is obviously my chart that I've made. Uh, it has all of my dividends, like I said in the beginning of the video. I have everything in descending order from top to bottom. It's a very nice way for me to track what uh, dividends are gonna be paying me out each month and how many dividends I'm gonna be getting you know, every month from all the stocks that I own. Um, you know, As we saw right there, we got SPHD that paid me out. We had uh, Store Capital, we had Realty Income, Pepsi, JP Morgan Chase, Comcast, and then Disney, um, RTN. Uh, I added that to my portfolio, so I did not receive that one in time because I added the stock after the dividend date, so that one does not count. But uh, yeah, we're just missing VNQ and LQD, which I'm assuming is going to be on the next month's uh, payout, so I'll show you guys that in the next month. So yeah, guys, if you guys enjoyed this video and you enjoyed my dividends, leave a comment below let me know what is your favorite dividend holding what stocks do you think i should add to the portfolio let me know what type of you know investor you are and this is going to be your chance to uh, enter the giveaway for the amazon gift card make sure you subscribe to the channel so you get up-to-date uploads with all of my on uh, stock videos that i make i make a lot of different videos penny stocks growth stocks uh, blue chip stocks anything you can think of dividends so yeah guys stay tuned and i'll see you guys next time